and we return for more question. Right, so uh, who's your favorite voice actor and voice actress? Uh, you're putting me under a lot of pressure here, man. Like, this is a loaded question. There is no easy answer. Well, it's not like they're gonna, like, retweet this on Twitter or anything, so... Uh, yeah, well, I guess. If I, I, if I had to pick someone off the top of my head, I would say for actress, uh, Christina V. Um, for actor... Roger Craig Smith? Sure, that was one of the names that jumped to mind first. Hmm, who's Roger? He's talking to me. <laughs> I'm trying to think, I'm like... I don't really know any any of the lady Japanese voice actors, so... Like, when I think of it, I just think of that old lady that voices Goku, and I get kind of irritated about it. Yeah. And I couldn't name a single Japanese voice actor if my life depended on it. So, moving on. Masako Nozawa, I think her name is? I don't know. Oh, well, I, I guess that's a lie. I can name one female Japanese voice actress, Megumi Hayabusa, or whatever the hell her last name is, uh, who voices Lena in verse. I believe it's uh, Hayashibara. Hayashi, yeah, that. I can think of plenty of male Japanese voice actors, though. I can't. So I'm gonna go with uh, Toshiyuki Morikawa. Sure. Like he voices uh, Dante, Leon. Uh, he voiced Ryu once in Street Fighter Alpha, I believe. Okay. They make a joke about it in Project Cross Zone. Yeah, those are my picks, I guess. All right. Even though I didn't really pick a lady of voice actress, I don't think I, did. I can't really think of any. Okay, so, uh. Wait, where did this come from? What? Do you think we'll have AI capable of the full range of thought and human emotions in our lifetimes? Uh. No. I hope so. Because, you know. Robot girlfriends. Oh, okay. Would totally, totally bang our robots. Sure. Just no fisting. Do not fist android girls. If you value your hand. Too much torque. <laughs> hey Alex, what you playing? Uh, I just finished playing Breath of the Wild. And now I don't actually know what I'm going to play. I'm at that, like, post-game... I'm not going to say burnout, but, like, that I don't want to start anything new and become committed to it. Yeah, that's fair. But I think I'll probably either play Yakuza 5 or Fate... Excel. One of the two. Hmm. Wait, this person asked me this twice. No, no, there's two questions there. What oh. you watching? Oh, what? Well, that was the first one. Whoops. That was me reading. Uh, I don't think I really watched anything new. Well, you watched all of uh, Durarara. Uh, yeah, there's that. Which is okay. Not a bad show. It's kind of weird, kind of difficult to follow sometimes. Oh, that's right. I also watched uh, two of the Maggie's seasons. The what? Well, it should be Magi, but you know they pronounce it Magi the whole time. At least I'm pretty sure it should be Magi. But what the fuck do I know? Okay. Although I watched the uh, Magi Adventures of Sinbad a long time ago. Uh, Months ago, and then I watched the uh, Labyrinth of Magic, I think it is. It's alright. It reminds me of Full Metal Alchemist in a way, except, you know, 
a little less a little less dire should I bother answering these questions they were kind of directed solely at you I don't know what have you been watching I've been watching Sailor Moon because my fiance left her Sailor Moon DVDs here for me to watch last time she visited. So I am currently in the middle of the S, no, the R season. Sailor Moon R. Time travel bullshit has just begun. I've only watched bits and pieces of Sailor Moon. And that was the, uh, the original dub. The, yeah. The dick dub. Yeah. Deek. I watched quite a bit of it when I was younger, and um, it's a different experience watching it now with the new dub. Sailor Jupiter is my wife. I, I, for some reason, find Sailor Venus cute. Her, her uh, propensity for screwing up cliches is kind of funny to me for some reason. What else have you been watching or was that really it? Uh, that's kind of it right now. I, I watched some of Durabara. I, I finished um, The Devil's a Part-Timer fairly recently. That was an interesting show. I sure am pissed that there's only one season. And I started on season two of um, The Seven Deadly Sins, but I've only watched one episode of it yet. I was kind of waiting for it to get a backlog going. Yeah, like there's only four episodes. And then I was an idiot and went the wrong way. As you are wont to do. I have to I had to blow up the wall. Well, you can never use too much dynamite. That's all I'll say about that. Okay, so what have, what have you been playing? I have been alternating my attention between... Uh, well, I, I was playing Dark Souls 3's DLC, but I have since given up on that. I actually just got so sick of it that I uninstalled the game. So, aside from that, I am playing Mass Effect Andromeda, which is kind of a buggy mess, but I'm sticking with it. And, um, Tales of Grace's F. Yeah, Dark Souls 3 and, uh... And drama are both get, got a fair amount of complaining on IRC. Yeah, and I only really complain about the games that I love. But sure, we'll go with that. I believe you. It's your story. You can tell it however you want. I I do bitch more about games that I love than I do about games that I hate. It's just I love this so much. Why does it have to hurt me so much? Yeah, your problem is you care too much. I do. And then there was a wolf. Why is there a wolf? Because we're locked in, and now we have to follow the wolf. Why? Okay, I, I, I guess asking that why we're following the wolf would be a silly question at this point. Because if we don't, we don't get to leave. I mean, is it like... Hmm... It's not Jeff, is it? Nope, it's not Gertie, Jeff. It's Lucid. The Guardian of Desire. Oh my. Okay, come up with a character idea before the end of the video. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so, hmm. Hmm. Slow down on the audio there, that was kind of strange. Alright, so, let's see. Paladin with weak constitution struggles with uh, being a hero. And then he finds out, like, his mom was close to, like, some magical meteor impact, and he's really actually got special powers, because, you know, that's how it works. There. Character idea. And thus I was just supposed to do that to give somebody a character idea that they could use. In which case, fuck you. Hey Alex, help me come up with a character idea. How about I don't? 
That's fair. But what do you need to come up with a character idea for now? I don't know. What are we naming her? We're putting in a password. Ah. Which coincidentally is, you know, the name of the book we just got. Metal bird. Something, something flying through like the sea, sea of stars, or some shit like that. I don't know. Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't actually reading the what the pat the password entry thing was. Right. But it opened the door. And that's all we give a shit about. Industrial Society of Arctica. Sure. Until it got totally bitched. As happens. This is a JRPG. I don't know, when they showed the castle at the beginning of the game, it seemed pretty uh, typical castle, castle affair. Except for the elevator, I suppose. Yeah. I, I do find it funny that this is supposed to be a western-themed JRPG, and it's got, like, European castles and shit in it. Those were a thing in the Wild West, right? No. And even then, it's like, they didn't really lay on the uh, Wild West thing until, like, Wild Arms 2 or 3. 3 went in really hard on it. Anyway. Masters of the Sky. Erotica. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, we'll see about that. Alex, put some porn on here. Oh, God. Thank you. And then there was another duplicator door. Were you ever part of a fandom? Yes. Yeah? A long time ago, I was more or less part of the Slayers fandom, I think. That was a long time ago. Skates? Welcome to the 90s. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Yeah, I would say when I was like 10 or 11, I guess I was kind of sort of part of the Slayers fandom, I suppose. Hey, look, now you can run into walls even harder. Yeah, you can't stop, won't, can't stop, won't stop. And for a while, I guess I was kind of sort of part of the Mega Man fandom before it became like the second coming of the Sonic fandom. I was part of... Huh. Yeah, sorry about that. The emulator crashed. Anyway, I was going to say I... Well, I make a fucking sprite comic still, so yeah, part of the Mega Man fandom. Uh, you made a sprite comic like 70 million years ago. Now you're too busy to do it. Kinda, sorta. I've actually got most of the shit together for the next update. It's just that I haven't had time to actually make it. But I had a bunch of shit happen. Like, my, I had to reformat my computer twice and then one of the sheets got corrupted and I had to fix it pixel by pixel. Um, every single sprite on it for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. I worked on that. Whoops. It blew it up. Yes, it did. Because of a build-up and internal pressure. In English, please. Science. And swordsmanship. How does... You know what? I'm not even going to ask. We'll, we'll find out next time on Radical Romance. I guess we will.